Hello everybody, it's Mr. Chris again from Yuma County Library District and today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things, science and gummy bears. You might be asking yourself, what do science and gummy bears have in common? Well, science is a heavy part of cooking, baking, candy making, and anything where you take multiple ingredients and put them together and it becomes something else. Gummy bears being a very big part of that. So gummy bears are made up of glucose syrup, which is a, a sugary syrup. It can be done with wheat or corn syrup. Um, sugar is number two on the list, which is no big surprise, but gelatin, like jello, and wax. It also has colorings and things like that in it, flavorings, to make the gummy bears taste like whatever fruit or flavor that they want them to make. So as they heat, all those in the ingredients together they start to melt and mix together and it becomes something different from what it was originally that's a reaction so there's different types of reactions chemical reactions physical reactions melting something into something else that would be a physical reaction right because what it's doing is taking uh, whatever form it was and becoming something completely new now with the gummy bears they're put into a mold, so they take on a little gummy shape. All sorts of other candies are just stretched out into long ropes and then cut into little pieces to get things like peppermint candies or any kind of like the, the hearts that you get at, at Valentine's Day and things like that. So yesterday I was sitting around eating some gummy bears and I accidentally dropped one into my cup of water. And I started to think, hmm, wonder what would happen if I leave that in there? Or what would happen if I put gummy bears in other kind of liquids, like mm, sodas, milk, coffee, mm, different things like that. So I had a question. So what could I do with that? I can use the scientific method and create an experiment for myself. The scientific method is a multiple steps that scientists use to create um, science experiments and get answers to questions that they may have. So first step is you ask a question. That question for me is, well, what will happen to the gummy bears if I leave them in liquid for a couple days, maybe a week? Then scientists will make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an idea, an educated guess of what actually might happen to those gummy bears. So my educated guess is I'm thinking some of the liquids would actually dissolve the gummy bears, maybe? Or some of the liquids might make the gummy bear grow really big. That'd be kind of cool, huh? But I wonder if it would taste like a gummy bear after that. Well, anyway. So next part of that is to do the experiment. And this is something you can do at home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and this cup's gonna be filled with whatever liquids we want. And you can do a couple of different liquids. Ask your parents, of course, first, because you, know, you don't wanna start doing the experiment and have them end up throwing it out a couple days from now. Well, you might if it stinks, but that's part of the science. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna fill it with a couple different um, liquids and we're gonna put our gummy bears in there. And then, we're, that's our experiment, and we're gonna watch it. And we're, we're gonna record the data. So what that means is, we're gonna look at it every day, probably around the same time, because it's a good idea to have certain things that are the same, those are called constants. Our constants in this experiment would be looking at it at the same time every day, using gummy bears, the same type of gummy bears, and then our variables, which are the different things that we're studying, are the different liquids in the uh, that the gummy bears are going into. So we're going to record that data. We're going to sit there and look and say, hmm, what did it do? So the first day might not do anything. Then it might do something. We don't know yet. So we're going to find out, right? So you can do this at home. You tend to take that cup. You're going to put your liquid, whatever liquid is in there, water. Um, ask your parents, come up with some ideas. What would you want to put in there? 
And then what we're gonna do is pour that in the cup. We're gonna put our gummy bear in there and we're gonna start that, that process of observing it. And then after so many days, it could be three days, it could be a week, however long you want it to be. Then we're gonna analyze that data and we're gonna go, hmm, okay. So the gummy bears disappeared after three days. Why is that? That brings you a whole nother question that gives you uh, an idea to research, to go to some books, look it up, ask other questions, maybe even do other science experiments. See, that'd be kind of a cool thing to do. So science experiment leads to science experiment leads to science experiment, and then you are a scientist. So at the end of this video, we have a couple books that have really great science experiments that you can do at home. I hope you do this science experiment at home. And if you do, when you have to re report your data, which is the one of the last things you do in the scientific method, tell your parents, tell your grandparents, tell your friendly librarian. See you later. Thank you.